Hello YouTube uh, modeling community. Mike here, Mike's Miniature Motors. You know, uh, guys, I work nights and uh, lose track of my days and almost didn't realize it was uh, Thursday. Uh, so I kind of ran out to the garage and uh, grabbed this. Uh, first thing I, I kind of saw. Anyway, uh, the story on this is uh, I, I knew it was built uh, um, in 88. Uh, uh, Ravel bought Monogram in 88 in the first two kits that they ever came out as a called a joint company or one company whatever because they they were only making Ravel kits at the time uh, but they just bought the Moles monogram anyway was uh, the 68 L88 which is what you see here and the 69 uh, Mustang Shelby um, you know, I went to my first show in the fall of 87, um, cause I, I lived in Waco and the, and there was a show called the Southwest Challenge. It was in Dallas. Um, a lot of big dogs, uh, big dogs were there. People I'd only seen in magazines, uh, Don Freeney got to meet him, uh, Mark Gustavin. Um, that was pretty neat meeting him. Uh, at the time I was following his build and scale auto of the, uh, Mercurari or whatever the the joint venture that was talked about between Mercury and Ferrari. Anyway, uh, uh, this is the uh, '68 uh, L88 Corvette. When I went to that first model show, I was blown away. You know, at that point, I was basically building just box stock, maybe painting the bodies, maybe the interior. Uh, I mean, you've seen some of my some of my older survivors in the previous weeks. Um, uh, I'd never seen anything like what I'd seen. I mean, yes, I've seen it in the magazines, but seeing it live, so to say, just, just, just blew me away. Um, it was kind of a last minute decision to go to that show. You know, I was a college student. I had 20 bucks in my pocket. Um, uh, and I said, uh, you know, why not? And, uh, Dallas is about an hour away. So I drove up there and, pew, um, had never seen anything quite like what I saw there. Anyway, I didn't have much money and I still wanted to eat lunch. Uh, the only thing I walked out of there um, away from, besides a ton of inspiration, was uh, some MSC was there. Uh, they used to make wires back in the day. And uh, I bought uh, two colors. Like I said, I didn't have much money. I was a college student. I didn't necessarily plan on going, uh, but I did. I bought two ignition wire colors and I've got there's a braided line in there. Um, I don't even have my radiator hose in there, but as you can see, I did paint the body on this. I did, um, paint the interior. In fact, if I can maybe move the light this way, I actually tried to do like a wood grain in there. I don't know if that lights very good. Did my typical chassis with the, uh, the gray with the black frame. Um, Sorry, guys, I used to not glue them on back in the day because you never know uh, when I might want to change them out. I used to change them out. There's a, a directional wheel that came in the uh, Ultra Rod set, if any of y'all know what that is. Uh, it was the first release of uh, the Corvette with the blower sticking out of the hood. Um, and it had those wheels in it, so I used to keep those on here. Um, then I got older, I liked more of the stock look. You can kind of even see where the chrome is rubbed off on the wheels. A uh, little bit here on this front bumper. Uh, anyway, uh, that's about it, guys. Like I said, this was the first vehicle I ever wired up. Uh, like I said, after going to that show, I was just, uh, like I said, I was blown away. I'd never seen anything like what I saw that day. Met met all kinds of people that I'd only read about in the magazines. Uh, it, was, it was quite something. And, you know, from that day forward, um, that's, so to say, when I became just a guy having fun building model kits gluing them together just to put them on the shelf or use them for target practice or whatever uh to wow this is a really really cool hobby and uh wanted to so to say take it to the next level and i've never turned back um uh, for those of you that are pretty new to modeling it's just an it is an ongoing learning experience uh the more you do it uh you know obviously the better you get just just any skill that or trade that you try 
or practice, you'll only get better the more you practice, like riding a bike. Um, anyway, oh, and I forgot to mention the color is a uh, tester's. Uh, it was a burgundy color of the sort. If you remember the old tester's uh, boxes on the back of the boxes, when tester would release a kit, they'd show you in little rectangles colors that were close to factory colors, and that used to be a close to Porsche color. Um, couldn't I don't remember the name. It was a burgundy something or another. Uh, I think I initially painted the car blue uh, because in Waco there was a blue one that I would see on a frequent basis. Um, I don't know if it was an L88. Don't remember that, but it was a blue 68. Um, but I decided to change to, to the burgundy, maroon, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, guys, that's about it. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Do thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, uh, feel free to leave them. And um, we'll see you next time. All right, guys, God bless. And uh, see you next Monday. All right, bye-bye.